All right, so I've got this laid out for the top part of the book, and that's all this is. I put everything else aside, and that's what we're gonna start with. Um, the numbers kind of line up with each other, and you know, as much as I could put them in the right spot. So this one, the one and the one line up here, and we know these, this gets glued together. Um, let's start with this particular, the way you have to glue this together to make it work. If you put glue on each one of these slots, um, they won't give enough. They need to move a little bit. So we're gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna take my glue, and I'm just gonna put a line, a very small line on the outside. Everywhere along the edge of the outside. And don't put very much because we don't want this seeping out. And now on the inside, I'm going, I'm going to go every other one and I'm going to put just one little dot in the middle. And that is it. Don't put any more than that or your pieces won't fit in. We're going to put it like this directly on top and we want to line it up really well. You don't really get much of a chance, you know, you have one chance to line it up. All right, there we go for that. And now, um, whoops. So along the edges, these are the tabs where I pulled it out of the package. And you can go through and you can take care of all these all at once. Or you can just do it as you go. Normally I do it all at once, but I just didn't feel like it right now. You just don't want to bump there. You want everything to fit real flush. And don't worry, um, we're going to take our brown permanent marker and just right on top of those when we're done and it won't show. Okay, so we're gonna start here on uh, number two. And then this has a number two on it also. And so it's gonna go like one of these ways. Let me double check and make sure. You don't wanna do that upside down. The rounded part goes up, so um, <coughs> you can go ahead. See how this doesn't, you don't want to put a whole bunch of glue here because nothing's going to touch there. So just right around these two tabs. Let's put that glue. Okay, I'm gonna spray that. Hold it nice and tight. Just so we don't have to wait for that to dry. I guess you can remember that the number two will be on the outside. That will help. So let's go ahead and do that with number three. Number three right there. Number three right there. And put the three on the outside. I always like to dry fit things before I glue them. Just like I just did. Pop that off a little bit. All right, just a little bit of glue again. Okay, keep the three on the outside. See, the other side has a five on it. So we're only lining up the three. And I'm gonna spray that one also. Hold it nice and tight for a second while it dries. 
And now I guess we're going to number four, which is on the end there. So number four is on these. It's a little bit hard to see. There we go. And there's two of them. So this goes So, like, right now you might be saying, well, which way does it go? It can't, you, the lines have to be on the outside because they represent the page, the edges of each page. But see the end right here? It doesn't fit. And that doesn't fit, so we know we have to flip it over. And then this end, I'm going to pop right in there nicely. I know this is hard to see because it's dark. And the side will fit over here. Now, if you didn't get your your first piece lined up very well, you can see mine isn't perfect right here. It'll just be a little bit, you'll just have to push to get that piece in. And if it's really not lined up, you can just shave it off with your X-Acto knife. I'm just pulling on that and I kind of loosen that up. All right, there's a dry fit and it works. So I'm gonna pop that back off carefully because if you bend this wood, you can break it. And let's just put the glue right along the edge. Oh, it looks like, see this, these aren't glued much, but we'll fix that in a minute. Now let's get this piece back on. So I'm holding it the wrong way again. Does not fit. Let's put it the right way. Okay, so we didn't use very much glue. We're gonna fix that right now and just make these nice and stable and put a little bit of glue along the edge, the inside edge on the bottom. This won't ever show, but you don't want too much anyways. You just want a nice little bead right there. And then up and along that edge. And go ahead, spray it if you want. And then I'm just gonna push it down on the table. Try to keep it at a 90 degree angle. And let it dry. Okay, that should be good. This little corner right here, um, I just want to put a little bead of glue in there just to strengthen that up on this side a little bit more. And on the other one. All right, so let's find our number five. Ta-da, fives. So we're gonna flip this over. And you've got that spot that we just reinforced with glue. And then under here, we've got this piece right here. And a white piece and it has a five on each corner. So let's make sure that fits. So see right here how I want to snap this in place 
but it's not really easily going. It's because this piece needs to be tipped out just a little bit, and that's easy to do. Tip it out just a tad. Sorry, I'm having a hard time staying in the camera here. So we also we have a couple tabs still sticking up and that is in place and that makes a pocket and that's where we store um, this piece which is another you know it's not glued together yet but it's it goes inside all right let's pop this off see where it attaches we want to put glue where these white tabs go in just wherever the white is Okay, right here, there's a little lip, and I'm pretty sure we don't go all the way to the edge of that. Yeah. Don't go all the way to the edge of that lip with the glue. That's just so the book fits together. We're just going to go out and leave like a quarter inch there. Glue here. Oh, here. Alright, let's put this on and see how it looks. There we go. And make sure you don't have any glue seeping out the edges. And if you don't put very much on, it's much better. If you have glue seeping out the edges, you get some on your finger and you're going to mess this finish up on the wood. And I don't know how to fix it. So, okay, next we're going to put on, put this piece on and it just pops right on there. Like that. And... See, this is the part for our hinge right here. All right, let's glue this piece. And I find you don't really need to glue. Oh, you might have a problem like this, but that's never gonna show and it will actually help hold the glue better. So if that happens, don't worry about it. We'll put glue just along the edge. There we go. You could put glue all over the place on this white, but it will show through on your stars. If you feel like you've gone off the edge, wipe it with a paper towel. Um, you could put glue back here, but I don't really think you need it. Actually, let's put some along the bottom edge because... Nope, don't put it along the bottom edge. There we go. I'm thinking wrong here. Wipe it off because that's not... that's overlapping, so... Just put it on the outside. That's all you need. All right, and I'm gonna put that aside and let it dry. I'm gonna put a weight on it. Let it dry and I'll get the bottom piece out. 